Welcome to the Mobile Home Park Mastery Podcast, where you will learn how to identify, evaluate, negotiate, perform due diligence on, finance, turn around and operate mobile home parks. And now, here is your host, the fifth largest mobile home park owner in the United States, Frank Rolfe. What if I could tell you, you could buy a computer, throw some software in it, push a button, it would totally manage your mobile home park, and just automatically send you a check each month for the difference. Well, the sad truth is you can't do that. It doesn't work. However, in this, our fourth installment on our five-part series, on the top five tools of mobile home park owners, we're going to talk about software. Yes, we're going to talk about all the different types of computer software there is out there to help you manage your mobile home park. And we're going to talk first about QuickBooks. Now, QuickBooks is where most people begin. It's definitely for smaller operators who have just their first park or first few parks. It's relatively inexpensive. About $300 one-time charge will buy you the QuickBooks, or you can do about $30 a month for the online in the cloud version. And you won't really hear any or read any negative comments on QuickBooks because QuickBooks is an excellent product. There's no two ways about it. It's a very, very good product. You link that together with Excel, and you've got a very stable accounting software package that most lenders are perfectly fine with and most people who use it are very happy with. So there's certainly nothing wrong with QuickBooks in Excel, but the problem is it does have limitations. It doesn't do a lot other than just the most basic of accounting tasks. So most people are going to outgrow QuickBooks after they get to this their first few parks. Although there are folks out there who still use QuickBooks on larger portfolios. So I'm, I'm not even going to say you can't use that if you have a bunch of parks. But typically, QuickBooks is kind of your introductory spot. Now, there's a lot of other software packages out there. I'm only going to talk about three others, the three most popular. But there's a lot of new things, and there's new things coming out all the time. Redolution, Property Manager Cloud, Appfolio. There's a lot of different things, but there's three are the main ones that most mobile home park owners are using. The first one is called Manage America. Now, Manage America is a fairly expensive software program, and I'm not going to even give you the pricing. I'm not really sure of it myself, but I know that when we looked at these compared together, it, it was the most expensive of the three I'm going to talk about. And one problem is it has no GL side. So it's somewhat limited on its accounting functions. Otherwise, it does a lot of great stuff. It does a lot of good things. But typically, that's probably not the choice you're going to make when you're looking at software. So what are the others? Well, the one that we use is called Rent Manager. Now, Rent Manager costs about $200 for the initial setup and about $75 per month per user. So it's definitely more expensive than QuickBooks and Excel but it offers so much more. It will do all of your invoicing, all your utility billing, expense tracking, track your late fees. If you do a rent credit program, it'll even track your rent credits. In fact, you know what? There's nothing rent manager can't do. So when you talk about a a software package, it's like a robot that basically serves your interest 24 hours a day. It's really hard to beat rent manager. That's the software that we are on. In fact, when we, when we went to rent manager and bear in mind, we initially were on QuickBooks and Excel. When we converted over to Rent Manager, what was compelling about Rent Manager was there was really nothing we could come up with that it didn't do. And it does it on a very, very affordable basis. So Rent Manager is definitely the software that we prefer. It has the jail tied to the rent roll for you accounting buffs. It can track all your homes. It can just do everything. So we think Rent Manager is probably the best solution. The third type you'll see out there is Yardy Voyager. Now, Yardy Voyager was really designed for the apartment industry, not for the mobile home park industry. So the jury is still out whether or not that is the most effective route to manage software-wise for mobile home parks. It's got, obviously, a lot of great things going. Yardy, in fact, is probably the preeminent software package for all of your larger real estate portfolio owners. So rent manager, if you go look at the portfolios of any of your large apartment, office building, retail, any of those types of folks, self-storage, you'll see most of them are using Yardy Voyager. Now, why do they do that? Well, Yardy Voyager is, is probably the most sophisticated. 
It probably has the largest support staff you can get. It's very expensive. You definitely pay for that. However, for mobile home park applications, it's actually less expensive than Manage America to our knowledge. So it's not the priciest. It probably would be second on price. The only problem with Yardy Voyager is it's really new to our space. Now, I know owners who are currently using Yardy Voyager and Yardy Voyager is making a valiant effort to try and bring their multifamily knowledge into the M8 space, but it may be a little early. It may be kind of like big screen TVs where possibly you could wait a little while longer and you'll get a better quality TV at a lower cost. Not really sure. I will tell you some other broad brush things though about software. Number one, before you enter into any software, you really need to analyze them all because they're all a little bit different. And you may just find some to be more user-friendly for the way you operate than others. There was one out there that some park owners use that seems to me very antiquated called Park Sidekick. Now, Park Sidekick is a one-time cost of $525 all the way up to about $3150. So, and, and that, again, these prices may have changed. Don't, don't hold me to these prices. But Park Sidekick, if you look at the product, it looks old. It looks from generations back. I almost, when you look at Park Sidekick, it almost looks like you can hear... Steve Jobs calling for Wozniak in the background, heading over to Computer Fair. So it's a little antiquated, but yet some people really like that because they like kind of the old school look. So again, you know, there's freedom of choice out there. When you're looking at software packages, it's not one size fits all. Everyone's a little different. Don't be afraid to go with the unpopular one. Just because we don't use Appfolio doesn't mean that you shouldn't use Appfolio. In fact, I know a lot of park owners that use Appfolio and like it a lot. Keep your options open. Look at them all. You know, you can go online at a drop of a hat to Google and you can see demonstrations right there, real time, right this second on every package out there. Look at those free tutorials. See if that is the software you want. Look at the cost. Now, to be honest with you, I don't think this is a cost decision because really the cost between all of these is not that much different. So if there's one that you felt you liked so much more than the others, I don't think it's a case where the price is going to stop you. So feel free to not only look at them all, but don't be afraid and think, ah, oh, well, that one I can't afford. No, I think they're all pretty similar on cost. Also think about who all is gonna be using the software. It will it be just you or will you have your managers involved or will you have others involved somewhere between you and the managers? So which is the easiest for them to handle? Which is the one that has the most efficient cost perspective based on the number of users? So there's lots of decisions. So again, I'm just giving you very broad brush analysis of what we all use. But here's the deal. You gotta have a good software package. QuickBooks and Excel is great, but if you're gonna start billing back water and sewer, if you're gonna start having lots of park owned homes, if you're gonna start doing a lot of things that most park owners do, I'm not sure that is going to give you the level of control that you really need. So I'm not sure that QuickBooks is the solution as you grow, but it's certainly a fantastic solution when you start. And again, it might be the solution as you grow. But again, check out all your options. Make sure you make the right decision. Make sure you're thinking through everyone else who's going to use it. Now, will software manage your business? Sadly, it will not. You still have to have a great park manager. You still have to have all the key systems to run the business. Those key systems, again, because I can't say them enough, collections, occupancy, water sewer billing, budget actual difference, which allows you to follow all of your budgets and what's going on, and property condition. Those are the five big dials on any park owner's dashboard. But think how those five dials can very much be aided by that software. If you've got really good software, if you have really tight tracking of your numbers, clearly the benefits to collections are huge. Water sewer, huge. If that's tracking all of the billbacks you're doing and all the comparison of billbacks now and how much you spend and how much it was a year ago, again, that's, that's huge. All of your budget actual difference, that's huge. Your occupancy, it's huge. The only one that the, that the software can't manage for you is property condition. However, as we mentioned on last week's broadcast, you get around that with HD videos. Very simple, simple to use, very easy for the manager to do and for you to, to download and look at. 
So again, software won't run your business yet. It will very much aid you in running your business. And that's why it's so very important that you select the right software package because there's no substitute for good software. And also think about this. When you buy that mobile home park, you are going to be providing regular statements to your lender, to your accountant, to do your taxes. Many folks involved. You've got to make sure those statements are 100% accurate. Long gone are the days where you could go down and get a bank loan with a bunch of financials that are written in pencil and cursive, like many moms and pops did. Today, you've got to have sophisticated books. So think about that also when you look at your software packages. You need something that can provide statements that not only blow you away, but will also blow away your banker. Because you cannot ever script on accounting. When I bought my first park, the very first thing I knew I had to do, because I am not good at accounting, was I had to get a really strong, competent bookkeeper. So that's step one. And step two, you've got to have the correct software. That is a very, very important tool for any park owner to do the job effectively. Now, next week at our fifth and final installment of the top five tools of mobile home park owners, we're going to be talking about the biggest tool that any of us have, and it's your brain. We're going to go over gut instinct and different things that you can use your brain for in making the all-important decisions on not only parks to buy and parks not to buy, but how to manage your property effectively. This is Frank Roth with the Mobile Home Park Mastery Podcast. Glad you're here. Talk to you again next week. Thank you for listening to the Mobile Home Park Mastery Podcast. Be sure to visit us at mhpmastery.com to subscribe to the show, read our show transcriptions, and access all of our great information on mobile home park investing.